The iScreen Oral Fluid Device, or the OFD, is a new state-of-the-art drug test designed to quickly provide you with the most accurate results. In this training video, you will be shown how to administer, interpret, and if necessary, package a non-negative test result for confirmation testing. Step 1. Collection. To begin the collection process, select and open a device packet containing the iScreen OFD testing device and verify the expiration date. Once open, have the donor remove the sponge protector. The sponge protector may be discarded, as it is no longer needed. Once the iScreen OFD packet is opened, the device should be used immediately. Next, instruct the donor to actively swab the inside of the mouth and gum areas for three minutes. During the swabbing process, the donor will notice a softening of the swab as it collects oral fluid. The donor may stop swabbing after three minutes or when the swab has become completely soft and saturated. Once the collection is complete, the donor should be instructed to close and secure the device by placing the blue cap down over the swab and turning the cap clockwise. This process will cause the test to begin to run. Instruct the donor to initial or sign and date the security seal that has been provided for you in the box with the OFDs. Then place the seal over the test device, being careful to cover the laboratory sample port. Place the device on a desk or table with the test strips facing upward. Within seconds, you will notice a pinkish migration or flow of sample as the test strips are running. Step 2. Interpretation. The test results are interpreted by viewing the lines in the test results windows. Negative results may be interpreted as soon as all lines are visible. Non-negative results should only be interpreted at 10 minutes. Here is an example of a negative eye screen OFD result. Notice the lines next to the C or control area in both result windows. This indicates that the test is valid and working properly. You will also see that there are lines next to the drug abbreviations. The presence of a line next to a particular drug abbreviation indicates a negative result for that particular drug. In this picture, there is a line next to each drug abbreviation. This indicates that the iScreen OFD is negative for all drugs. Any indication of a line, regardless of color intensity, should be interpreted as a negative test result. This is an example of a non-negative test result. You still have a line next to the C or control area in both result windows, which indicates that the test is valid. But now there is no line beside the COC or cocaine area. The absence of a line beside a drug name abbreviation indicates a non-negative result for that drug. In this case, the iScreen OFD device has produced a non-negative result for cocaine and a negative result for all remaining drugs. It is important to remember to wait the full 10 minutes before documenting the result as non-negative. The last image is an example of an invalid test result, as indicated by the absence of a control line. If at 10 minutes either one or both of the control lines are not visible, then the test must be discarded and considered invalid. All invalid test results must be considered inconclusive, and a retest must be given prior to documenting any result. Invalid results should not be documented. Step 3. Recording Result Each box of iScreen OFD devices comes with a photocopy template. To use the template for recording results, place the copy template face down on the scanner bed of the copy machine and place the pre-run iScreen OFD over the opening on the copy template. Then press copy. Once a copy of the results has been made, simply fill out the photocopy by following the pre-printed instructions. Non-negative results should be handled in accordance with your company's drug-free workplace policy. The iScreen OFD has been designed to allow for the entire test device to be packaged and sent to the laboratory of your choosing for confirmation testing. It is important to remember that the iScreen OFD is only an initial screen and all non-negative results should be confirmed by a laboratory. For reference, the iScreen OFD device comes with a step-by-step -step procedure card that details how to operate the device and interpret the results. For more information on the iScreen OFD or additional products, please visit our website and online training guides.